Cell respiration is a form of decomposition that provides the energy cells need to function. All living organisms depend on cell respiration to provide the energy they need to survive. The formula for cell respiration is glucose plus oxygen in the presence of enzymes yields carbon dioxide, water, and energy. There are two kinds of cell respiration, aerobic and anaerobic. Aerobic respiration occurs if sufficient oxygen is present. Anaerobic occurs if not enough oxygen is present. Aerobic respiration occurs in three stages, glycolysis, the Krebs cycle, and the electron transport system. In an animal cell, glycolysis begins with a 6-carbon glucose sugar. Enzymes, shown here as Lego people, break the bond between the second and third phosphate groups of ATP. The energy release sends the phosphate groups to connect with the glucose molecule, forming glucose 6-phosphate. This molecule breaks into two 3-carbon sugars. Other enzymes lead to the oxidation of the sugar phosphate, which also results in the reduction of NAD positive and the formation of ATP. Therefore, glycolysis results in the formation of two 3-carbon acids known as pyruvate, two NADHs, and two ATPs. The NADHs carry the hydrogen to the electron transport system, the third stage of cellular respiration. The ATP can be used by the cell, and the pyruvate continues on to the Krebs cycle. The Krebs cycle occurs in the mitochondria of the cell. While the following sequence takes place, please remember that there are actually two pyruvate that undergo this next process, not just one. First, enzymes release a molecule of CO2 from each 3-carbon pyruvate molecule, leaving a molecule of acetate. This also reduces one molecule of NAD positive to NADH. Then a carrier molecule known as coenzyme A binds to the acetate to create acetyl-CoA. Coenzyme A brings the acetate to the Krebs cycle. An enzyme combines acetyl-CoA with a 4-carbon acid oxaloacetate to form a 6-carbon acid citrate. Then coenzyme A is released and goes back to deliver more acetate. Enzymes release two carbon atoms from the citrate to produce two molecules of carbon dioxide. The hydrogen atoms released during this process reduce two molecules of NAD positive to NADH. After further oxidizing and rearranging, another molecule of NADH and one of FADH2 are released as well. The energy release forms ATP from ADP and a phosphate. The products of the Krebs cycle are 6 molecules of CO2, 8 molecules of NADH, 2 molecules of FADH2, and 2 molecules of ATP. The final stage of cellular respiration is the electron transport system. This produces most of the ATP. NADH and FADH2 bring hydrogen from the previous two stages of cellular respiration to the matrix of the mitochondria for electron transport system. Hydrogen atoms are broken into electrons and protons. Enzymes and other proteins known as cytochromes transfer the electrons step by step through the system. The last cytochrome is an enzyme and combines the electrons and protons with oxygen to form water. In each transfer in the electron transport system, the electrons release free energy. This lets enzymes transport protons from the matrix to the intermembrane space. They become highly concentrated and diffuse back into the matrix. As they cross the inner membrane, they pass through the ATP synthetase enzyme, where ATP is synthesized from ADP and a phosphate group. Electrons from each molecule of NADH can cause the synthesis of up to three molecules of ATP, and each molecule of FADH2 can cause the synthesis of up to two molecules of ATP. In all, the electron transport system creates 34 molecules of ATP with the byproduct of water. Overall, aerobic respiration takes in one glucose molecule and six oxygen molecules, 
and create 6 molecules of carbon dioxide, 6 molecules of water, and 38 molecules of ATP. Fermentation is a form of anaerobic respiration. At the end of glycolysis, whether or not pyruvate moves on to the Krebs cycle depends on whether sufficient oxygen is present. If there is not enough oxygen present, animal cells and some bacteria cause the oxidation that produced pyruvate to be reversed. NADH is changed into NAD positive and pyruvate is changed into lactate, another 3 carbon acid. The NAD positive cycles back to glycolysis, which continues to provide a small amount of ATP until more oxygen becomes available. This is known as lactic acid fermentation. Lactic acid fermentation only has a net ATP production of 2. Another example of fermentation is when yeast and bacteria ferment pyruvate to ethanol and vinegar. All in all, cellular respiration is an important process for providing energy and maintaining life on Earth.